This is day 6 of my Borderlands 2 shock only run with Gage and starting off from last time as I have just been finished doing all of the wildlife exploitation preserve stuff like farming the loot midgets, killing Bloodwing and losing a transformer. So now our mission is to go straight to Thousand Cuts and meet with the Slab King and as we've reached day 6 I think it's about time now to change the name and the looks of our character. So say goodbye to Voltage and say hello to Shock Trap. And while here I decided it would be a good idea to change the skill tree just a little bit. Still going down mainly in the middle tree obviously for the Shock Death Trap but just changing out some obsolete things that I put skill points into that I didn't really need to and adding close enough and a little bit of anarchy not the full 400 because it seems like at this point I won't need to farm for a little while longer so we should be good and if you're wondering why I didn't add 1-2 boom it's because it takes up so much of death traps time it's basically useless to me but now with all of that done it's actually time to go and meet the slab king <laughs> yeah that's brick See, look, Lilith steals my kills to get me killed. Brick sits there and waits for me like a nice person would. That is my goat. Brick is the goat. Lilith can go die in a hole for all I care. Should we go for the ruby? You know what, I want to go for the ruby. Let's do it. Fire one. No, nah, alright. Corrosive, nice. Alright, next. <laughs> so we've already got fire and corrosive. I can see how this is going to go. Slack, there we go. There was a binary as well. Wow, next. <laughs> Damn. Hey, we got it. I, I don't care if it's good or not. I'm just taking it. Whoop. There we go. And while I did get it in only 8 runs, it really shouldn't have taken that long seeing as it's about a 25% chance of getting any one of the 4 elements. Uh, but I'll take it I guess. <laughs> oh wait, where is it? It's not showing up anywhere. And that's because this game has an actual vendetta against my shock only run. First Captain Flint took 8 hours just for me to get the Thunderball Fists. Then a transformer fell through the ground, and now my shock ruby has absolutely no texture. I would have liked to see what it looked like, even though I know exactly what it looks like. But I guess this black shadow version is kind of cool as well. Oh, he's yeah. See, he's back here, even though the thing says otherwise. Is he okay? You alright, buddy? I don't think he's alright. Oh. Well. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, right. This is it. Hey, level up! Come on. Wait, is this the bunker mission now? Ah, oh, crap. Here we go. Hey, there we go. Death trap. There's a giant constructor sitting right there. Hey, we got him. Uh, here we go. Now for the 11 turrets that everybody definitely loves to go and kill. Any shields for me, please? I'm like pretty. Sh I'm pretty lacking with shields right now. Damn. Hopefully the bunker drops something. Crap. Hey, <laughs> we got him. It took so long, even with 150 stacks of anarchy. Crap, that was, that was rough. Shield. Hey, 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 that is very good compared to my old one. Holy crap, yeah, I'm taking that. It's a bit rude. I think you deserve to get shot for that one, Roland. Come on. Dead. Just revive, Roland. Her, her neck is so long that even if he tried his hardest, he wouldn't be able to miss that throw. There's just no chance. Hello, Mal. And here we go. Nope. And before fighting Saturn, I decided to go and farm for the Ricochet Fibber, of course, in shock. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a Ricochet Fibber right here. 
because of the five digits of damage. And this is the shotgun fibber or something by the times one next to the damage. And this is the third type of fibber and you can tell by the 0.1 reload speed. But while farming I did give myself a limit of one hour on these damn things. Especially considering how boring it is doing the dashboard method of this because I'm on Xbox. Not just for me but anyone watching the stream it would be incredibly boring. Because I go here, check the gun dashboard and it's just two minutes of loading screens and then try again try again try again and you know what an hour and 30 runs in while i did get a few shock fibbers i never got a shock ricochet fibber but when i reach ultimate vault hunter mode i will most definitely go for it as long as i possibly can go for even if i have to do off stream or something i will get the shock fibber at least in UVHM. But of course with all that bullshit out of the way I can now finally go and continue the storyline. And first up is of course going to Sawtooth Cauldron. Hold up. There we go. <coughs> escape, escape, escape. Ah oh, shit, that's not gonna end well. I'm what the f That was No I went to pick up the gun and it took out all my anarchy stacks, are you kidding? Look, they know how to dodge the rubberized things, it's so terrible. Oh shit, now I have to verse Saturn. Oh no. Hmm. This might suck. There we go. Oh, there we go. Hey! Yeah, I want to say I'm currently heavily under leveled. Not under leveled, under geared. I want to try and take this slowly. Because the slower I take it, the more enemies I kill, the more reloads I get, the more stacks I get, the less chance of me dying. Look, even Sa even Saturn dodges rubberized things. I hate rubberized so much. Oh my god. Shitty bandit shock pistol, go. Hey, this ain't bad. Oh, look at that speed with the... Extra fire rate. Holy crap. Death trap, you absolute moron of a thing. Death trap, mate. Oh my god. Is he. Did I get a robot with like special brain issues or something? I honestly think there's something really wrong with that trap. He has been very terrible when it comes to attacking enemies properly. How does he not notice the giant towering robot trying to kill me? Is he okay? Oh wait, is that gonna kill me? I fucking knew it! I fucking hate this game! Fuck! There goes... Uh, all my anarchy stacks gone. For Christ's sake. But I did end up killing him, so I made it all the way to the place and grabbed the map. So I now know where to go for the final mission of the game. But just before that, I wanted to go and get the Lady Fist. And this gun doesn't need me to constantly dashboard farm just for certain variants of it i just need a shock version of it so it shouldn't take me too long and anything under 30 will be fine hey first try come on i don't care if it's a good one or not i'm taking it ow i bloody hate <clears throat> i hate rabbit skags so much Whatever. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm just going caustic caverns. That's, a f that's as far as I could go. Also, by the way, the timer at the top left was stuck this entire time. But it's okay, I know exactly how long it's been up there for, so it'll be fixed by next time. But anyway, now it's time to go to the warrior. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is... This is good. This is very good. <laughs> See ya. Screw this shit. Come on, come on. Oh! <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Oh, far out, far out, far out. Hey, what is? Anything? Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that was damn close. That was damn close. There we go. Ho 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 ho. Oh. That was close. That was close. That was close. 
Hey, come on. Down you go, down you go, big man. Down you go, big man. Oh. There we go, hunt. Uh, hold up. What are you doing there? Was he breakdancing? I don't know if Chris Licks is supposed to be built for that, but... Hey. Hmm. Hey! We got them! We got him! Woo 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 woo! But just before I start the ultimate Vault Hunter mode, I decide to quickly grab Moxie's crit because I'll need it as I'm going to be doing Captain Scarlet's Pirate Booty DLC just before I start ultimate Vault Hunter mode. As I can get a little EV, a shock Pimpernel and a shock Sandhawk. There are also a couple of other pretty good guns in that DLC so I'll be definitely loving life there. Unless if most of the enemies there are immune to shock or resistant to shock. Which I hope not. But anyway, that will be the end of day six. But if you got any helpful info about Borderlands 2 shock items in any way, shape or form, or any other info that I could use with any of the other Borderlands games as well, that will be greatly appreciated. Any cool ideas will be greatly appreciated as well. And thank you for watching.